Hey, this is Austin from Holbrook Aerospace. This is a tutorial on how to use the HAVF profile tool in Onshape. This tool will allow you to easily create airfoils in your Onshape document. So this is a new account for me. I have one sketch with a couple lines in it. And all we need now is the feature. So to find the feature, you click Add Custom Feature and you search for HAVF Profile. Right now, these two documents are coming up, but you're going to want the HAVF profile info.pdf, and you can find the profile here. So, if you click that, it should be added to your feature bar up here. So, essentially, all we need to do now is start using the feature and click a line, and we should be able to make any airfoil we want. So, there's a set of solutions that come stock with the feature. So, right now, it's using the NACA library, you can choose from about a dozen solutions in the NACA library, and there's about eight or nine other families there as well. So you can pretty much get kind of any airfoil shape you want. You can switch the leading and trailing edge, you can mirror across the cord, and you can also change the profile thickness. So there's lots of options to get the kind of airfoil that you're intending. So the existing uh, library in Onshape is sampled from my book, which includes the vector solutions for uh, approximately 1,600 airfoils. And those same solutions are in the Onshape document here. When you click these, you're getting different uh, HAVF arrays. So the interesting thing about this is you can control the trailing edge thickness uh, explicitly or implicitly from the book which means uh, if you have like a zero trailing edge thickness here it'll stay zero in the onshape document if you have a real trailing edge thickness in the airfoil then it will scale with the cord of the airfoil so if uh, we use the HAVF template trailing edge thickness here you know this is a zero thickness trailing edge no matter what we scale this to, you know, we could use the smaller line and we're still going to have that zero trailing edge thickness. And uh, this is useful because if you have a shape you want to scale uniformly, then you can do that. The cord will change into the feature, the airfoil will scale, and it'll stay the same. Uh, but if you want to have a constant trailing edge thickness, say one millimeter, we'll make it three in this case to make it more obvious to the viewer. You can change the line that the airfoil is based off of. We'll put it back in the same orientation for our convenience, but the trailing edge thickness remains the same. So this works with the solutions from the book, of course, not just the ones included in the Onshape feature currently. So if you wanted the FX 73170A, all you have to do would be to copy this array. You can use a custom input and you'll have your airfoil. So we can switch lines and you can see how this would work with a one millimeter trailing edge and a profile thickness factor of one. Now it represents what's in the book we give it the default trailing edge, it's exactly what's in the book, and you can give it a different line for a different size. But what's beautiful about this is if you have an explicitly driven line where you're setting the cord and the angle, you can set the airfoil to be whatever size you want, but also you can implicitly size the airfoil, meaning if this line or this line is just always going to connect two positions and those positions change, then the airfoil will scale with along with the distance between those two points as well. So it's really functional. And of course, I think I've said this twice already, but this works with all 1600 solutions from the book. And this will also work for your own custom airfoils. So that's really good because you can make any airfoil you need to essentially and use it with this feature. Uh, because the format is powerful enough to describe all 1,587 or something 
airfoils I was able to find to fit, so you can essentially make anything you want. Any airfoil you can think of, you can make with this feature easily, and you'll have the advantage of the vectors it's using to make your job easier. So if you have any questions about this feature, leave it in the comments. Let me know if you're able to use it in your Onshape account, get it added to your feature, and let me know what kind of cool projects you think I should try with this because I'm excited to use it. I want to thank Greg and Ignacio from Onshape as well for helping me make this feature over the last two months during the RC test flight uh, design competition. So this uh, template and this feature are much more functional than the, the templates that I was using during the competition. So I think everybody will appreciate this if we get another opportunity to have a design competition. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye.